guys and welcome back to my channel happy sunday i hope you all are having a wonderful day i've got so much motivation for you guys today we've got whole house cleaning meal prep laundry restocking a crock pot recipe all the things so we are starting with a grocery haul i decided to do this one a little different than how i normally do so instead of talking throughout the haul i decided just to play some music over the haul instead of actually voicing each item out loud I'm just trying something new so let me know what you think in the comments do you prefer that i talk during the haul or do you like it this way let me know in the comments down below All right, so my priority right now is to get dinner in the crock pot and I have laundry to start because I have so much to do today. But first I wanna just take a second and tidy up the kitchen because I just can't focus in a dirty kitchen. So I'm gonna do that real quick and then go ahead and get the crock pot out so I can get our dinner going. And then once I have all of that out of the way, I wanna roast up some veggies for the week and then go ahead and wash up the fruit. So tonight for dinner, I'm going to be making Marry Me Chicken. I see so much hype around this recipe, so I've been wanting to try it. I think it's mostly made in the oven, but if I can find a crockpot version of any recipe, that's usually what I go for. So I found a crockpot version. I'll leave the recipe down below if y'all want to make it. So I'm first starting by browning up my chicken. I started to skip this step, but then I thought, it might be crucial to how the flavor comes out in the end. So I decided just to go ahead and brown up the chicken two to three minutes on each side and then I'm just gonna transfer it into the crock pot and then I will just need to make the liquid part of the recipe. And for that part, it's just a combination of chicken broth, heavy cream, and a few spices. I think there's paprika in there, Italian seasoning, salt, pepper. I can't remember what all I put, but I will have the recipe down below I followed that to a T and this recipe does call for five chicken breast and I started to split the recipe but then I decided just to go ahead and make the whole thing so that we could have leftovers throughout the week and this will be part of my meal prep for the week to go with our roasted veggies that I'm gonna be doing later Every moment tonight, they led me to you. Every single time you look at me I lose it too. Why don't you come sit next to me? Let things happen naturally Like it used to be So I'm going to set that to high for four hours and then we're going to head on into the bathroom to gather up the laundry. Also make sure to stay tuned until the end because I will show the finished product of what it comes out like. I forget to do that sometimes when I'm sharing crock pot recipes in these cleaning videos because I'm just so tired when I'm done cleaning that it just leaves my brain to show you guys. But I made sure to snag a clip so stay tuned until the end. So now that laundry is going and I have dinner in the crock pot, I can move on to other things. First, I'm gonna wash up these dishes so that I can soak our fruit and have it clean for the week. It's just so much easier to have our produce clean. That way, if the kids wanna grab an apple, they can just grab it. I don't have to worry about washing it off first. And same with the strawberries. My kids love strawberries. I actually got three pints this week because my kids love them, but especially my daughter, like she can eat a whole container by herself. So I just went ahead and got three containers this week so we would have plenty, but I do like to go ahead and wash those and have them cut up. So when they want some, I can just pull them out, hand them to them and we're good to go.
veggies I'm just gonna do simple green beans and sweet potatoes roasted veggies are good to have ready during the week because then all you really have to do is make a protein and your sides are already ready so it would be really easy to throw your meals together These Topanga scents smell so good. I talked a little about them in my last video. I'm using Brentwood in the multi-purpose cleaner to wipe down the counter. what's left of Kane's birthday cake from last weekend so I'm gonna go ahead and toss that and wash up this cake plate thank you all so much for your happy birthday wishes to him I showed him all of your comments and he was grinning so big this year he wanted to go to the trampoline park for his birthday I always like to give my kids the option between having a birthday party where we decorate and have guests over or they can go somewhere fun, but regardless, we always do cake. So for his birthday, he wanted to go to the trampoline park, so that's what we did. Came home and my mom had made the cake for him, so we sang happy birthday and had some cake. And then next month is Kai's birthday and he is also skipping the birthday party. He wants to go to a theme park, so that's what we're gonna be doing. Otherwise, I normally will share their birthday party preps with you guys, but we're skipping that this year. They just have chose not to do parties. They're at that age where they like to go and have fun and make memories. Whereas Ray, she's still at that age where she gets so excited over her birthday parties. Just the decorations alone makes her so happy. I was starting to run low on energy and I still have so much to do. So I'm having an Alani while I get this laundry folded. Let me know what your favorite is down below. This was my first time having the mimosa flavor. It was so good. But like I said earlier in the video, I had a lot of washing to do today. I did three loads of laundry total washed all of the dog bedding and throw blankets. Thankfully, I had just washed the bed sheets because there was no way that I could fit that in today. I've been leaving you with 
I should, but I don't wanna fall. I know with you I have to learn my lessons. You go up when I go down. You see clear when I go blind. When I fall hard, you turn me around. Oh. You go now that these veggies have cooled, I'm gonna get them transferred to a dish with a lid so I can get them in the fridge and we'll have those throughout the week and then we're gonna get started on the cleaning that I need to get done today. Just going through and quickly picking up the floor here in the kitchen so I can go ahead and vacuum and mop and just be completely done with this part of the house because honestly I was just over being in the kitchen so this is actually laundry detergent I'm adding to my mop water and it is concentrated so I'm just putting in a little tiny splash into my water and the house was smelling so good when I got done mopping I know I should, but I Moving into my bedroom, I still needed to make my bed for the day. I usually try to do this first thing in the morning, but it don't always happen. I'm trying to get in the habit of making it as soon as I get out of it, but if it doesn't happen first thing in the morning, I do like to do it sometime during the day, even if it's late in the evening, because I would much rather go to bed with a made bed and be able to pull my sheets back versus crawling into a bed that's unmade. I feel like I just sleep better, if that makes any sense. I've got this basket of laundry that I need to tend to. It was already folded. I just needed to get it put away and then I need to fold up a load that I washed earlier and get that put away. And somebody was asking me the other day how I fold a fitted sheet. So all I really do is I grab the sewn corners, I find the point of the corners at the seams and I bring them together and that way you have more of a square shape to work with. That's just the best way that I have found to fold a fitted sheet. Real quick, I'm gonna switch over the laundry and then go ahead and toss in the dog's blankets and beds. Since they were gonna be getting their baths later, I wanted to make sure that they would have clean beds.
wish I could be sorry for the things that caused you harm. But nothing I can say or do will make it come undone. So even though I hate the thought of leaving you, I hope you come to terms. hoping that it's not going to be too much longer that I have to buy pull-ups. Ray does really good during the day without them, but we still have to wear them at night. So I'm hoping soon that she will be able to go through the night without needing a pull-up. So I'm going to give my floor in here a quick vacuum and run over it with the mop to freshen things up. The mop water was smelling so good with that Topanga in it, so I definitely wanted to mop my room with it. The bathroom needed a quick reset as well. I'm just going to put things away that are setting out, wipe down the sink area, clean the toilet, take out the trash, and just make sure that we have clean towels. So even though I hate the thought of leaving you, I hope you come to terms and have it in your heart to end it all. You're better off alone. Sincerely yours. Moving back into the kitchen, I wanted to put away all of the dishes that I washed earlier. It was going to be time to eat soon and we would have more dishes to wash, so I wanted these to go ahead and be out of the way. And then I also need to clean the living room. It was looking pretty rough. I wanted to get all of that done, so by the time we sat down and had dinner, I could just relax the rest of the evening and enjoy a clean house.
Let me show you the best of my world. Hold me tight, making memories. Let's do this together. Flying high, only me and you, girl. I want you by my side. I want you by my side. I wanted to show y'all the film over this coffee table. It was looking pretty gross. One of the kids had spilt something here earlier in the week and I thought that I had cleaned it up, but it left a film behind. So I'm gonna wipe that down really quick and get that shiny again. have left to do is vacuum and mop and I will be done with this reset besides bathing the dogs my back was killing me so I had to save that for a little bit later but I'm gonna have this month's giveaway in the description box down below so make sure to go enter for that and I'll have a clip of our dinner at the end and I'm gonna be honest with you guys it was good but it wasn't great I think I was expecting more. It was good, but it wasn't great. I would make it again though. Maybe I should make it in the oven instead of the crock pot, I don't know. But if you have made this before, let me know in the comments down below and how you made it. Did you do it in the oven or the crock pot? How did you do it? But anyways, thank you guys for hanging out with me today and watching today's video. I hope that you are leaving, feeling motivated. Remember to leave your butterfly emoji down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.